This video shows you how to export products to Excel so that you can do bulk edits in Excel and then re-import them. So you can either export everything or you can choose a group. So for example, say I just want to grab all the ones that have got a minimum order quantity of one or two, probably less of them. I'll say give me everything tagged with MOQ2. Now I can just select a couple if I know I only want those and I will go and click on the export button. Now it will then give me choices, all the products in the store, the two that I've just selected or the 22 that match the search. So the 22 with a minimum order quantity of two, the two that I selected or everything and in this case let's just do the two. I'll export products. Now it'll do one of two things depending on how big the file is. It will either email them to the address that you are logged in as. Um, so just be sure that you're logged in at an address you can receive the email or it might allow you to download it straight away. And in this case it's a small file so it's allowed me to download it and it's a CSV file which you can edit. So. And I've downloaded it and I can open it. And as you see, there's the handle. Now, I would strongly advise not changing the handle. Uh, it's going to get you into a world of grief unless you know what you're doing. Uh, the title you can change, the body, vendor, product type is, tags. So that's where, for example, you can remove the NOQ, MOQ or change it. So if you want to add more tags, they should be separated by commas. Uh, published is whether it's visible or not. Um, these are your items. If you wanted to have more colors, you'd simply say color, red, blue, orange. And copy this information for each one. Um, and then fill in the same information. So that's how Shopify lets you import variants. You simply replicate the information for each variant with options. Get rid of that for now. Uh, you can put your SKU, your quantity is, whether you let people continue to buy or stop when it's sold out. Price, any compare at price, so this will be the old price if you put it on sale. Whether it requires shipping, whether it's taxable, a barcode if you have one, a link to the image source, um, and then your Google Shopping fields. And there are those custom label fields if you're looking for those. Uh, variant images and what the weight is what is measured in uh, and you can edit those and then re-import so you save your changes and oh where are we um there you go and then once again in products products you can import your changes and the key thing is, do you want to overwrite the same product? So if you're doing an update, then yes, you want to overwrite. If you think you're creating new product, then don't check this because you don't want to accidentally overwrite if you've got the same handle. Um, so you choose your file. Click Upload File. It'll ask you if you've got everything in the right place and then you click start import. When it's done, you'll get an email telling you whether you've done the right thing or not. On the whole, if you're not super confident with technology, it is better to use the bulk edit tools like these ones here. Um, but CSV is a really quick way of updating things if you're confident with spreadsheets and that sort of thing.